What up? How are you doing? You already know though, it's your boy Johnny Olo. And what's happening? What is up? Um, <clears throat> I'm using my back facing camera um, because I'm going to show you some of my artwork um, that I've done in the past at school and stuff. I've taken every art in high school. Um, so, And that's the only real thing I'm going to miss about high school is the art classes I got to take. Um, they're so, they, like, they really made me enjoy art and shit, um, when it comes to, like, painting, things like that. Um, so I only have a few pieces, but they're pretty good. Um, here's actually a wood burning I did. Um, that's just, like, part of the tree. It's like a cutout piece. I didn't cut it out, just bought it, and then I wood burned into it. But, it's like the whole wound ass car and everything. It's pretty cool. Lie, there's like a spot in it right there where when I bought it it was messed up. <clears throat> now for people who actually know about art and stuff, um, there's this thing called linoleum block like printing. Um, and what it is, it's, it's like linoleum piece. It's like this uh, uh, clay shit I guess you could say. But it's on like a, a piece of like, uh, I don't know, on the back there's like these string things that hold it together. And anyways, you cut it out, you cut out what you want it to be, um, you put ink over it. And then you actually put it down on paper. Uh, <clears throat> this is actually one of the the landscapes I made. It's actually a cityscape. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. There I am. <laughs> so yeah. I actually have NSL on the back of the case. It's pretty cool. Um, here's actually one of the first paintings I brought home. <laughs> this is actually from Art 2. Um, which I don't know what it's called at your school if you've taken art. But that's actually the DC thing. I forgot to put a... Uh, acrylic gloss on it but I even did the sides and everything and there's a messed up spot on it but I don't know that's a pretty good spot I mean pretty good painting <laughs> I'm not gonna show you that one yet <laughs> nor that one um alright so here is actually the next one I did um if you know what little C's is I did a series of them pretty much and I've done my like my art teacher at school he actually knows me for doing like logos and stuff because all the t-shirt logos like the Woon Ass Car Mountain Dirt, Lil C's, all that. I've done paintings of them and turned them in as finals and stuff. Um, so I'm pretty much known as like the tape person. Like I use a lot of tape um, because I actually tape everything off, cut it out, trace it. Um, not trace it, but uh, like freehand it out um, and use an exacto and cut it out. And actually on all my paintings, they're like really sharp lines and that's how I do it. Um, most people don't do that, they just freeline it or freehand it. But actually this takes a little bit longer, um, but I think it looks... A like a shit ton better. It's basically like detailing a car. Um, you use tape and stuff to do it. So that's what I do on my uh, canvases. <laughs> if you don't know what a canvas is, it's just like uh, like a piece of wood with staples in the back holding like this cloth on. Um, but it's pretty good. This one's probably the best quality one I have actually. Which is mad big. Made me mad because this is not a good painting in my opinion. Um, as you can see, like it looks pretty pretty close to the little C's as you're, you're probably saying right now it looks good um, but in my opinion I don't know if it really does I don't really think it does it doesn't have that much detail and and right over here you can see a huge difference um, this one has so much more detail when it comes to just like the, the lines and shit as in right here it doesn't everything's super like s sharp and everything there's a canvas, that's what it looks like. It's like a cloth shit. And once you paint on it, it just gets like hardened. Uh -huh. But yeah, there's like the edges right there. Got them spice stuff, son. Yeah, and here's the pizza. Everything's. I actually, what I did was I started on this black line right here. That's basically the whole starting of the painting. Yes, I know I have 20% battery. You always tell me this. Um, But that's pretty much how I started the painting. And as I said, I taped it all off and. Uh, can you talk right now? <laughs> um, I use an X-Acto knife to cut everything out. Um, I use a new blade on every single painting so I don't cut through my canvas. And you're probably saying, why do you use a new blade if you don't want to cut through your canvas? It cuts to tape without putting any pressure on it rather than cutting all the way through your canvas when you have to put pressure on it to cut it with a dual blade. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah. That one looks a ton better. It actually says tie. The mouth and everything is proper. The hand looks right. And the little C's does too. Um, so yeah, put that one to the side. And here's one I just finished. 
it's real shiny right now because I actually just got done today. I got to put uh, like an acrylic gloss on it. There's this stuff called uh, Crystal Clear. Um, it's like an, it's like a spray paint sort of, except it's clear and it makes acrylic paintings or any type of painting oil acrylic. You can even be using on like crayon and stuff. Um, but it just makes it give it like it gives it like a shiny gloss look. Um, so and I was actually out of that at school, um, so I had to use like this acrylic glue stuff and put water in it and thin it out a lot and then I actually just covered my whole canvas with it and this is what it turned out to. So it worked out good and I actually may start doing that. Um, right here I don't have like the little lines in it and like the bold black around the curd road but that was so plain and I just wanted to keep it the same way. Um, so that's really, that's probably my favorite right now actually. I felt bad about giving this one to Ty. Not as in I don't want to give it to Ty. Um, but, um, just, I don't know, I was, I was going to tell him I was going to give him that one, and fucking 20% battery, um, I was going to tell him that I was going to give him that one, I was going to keep that one, but that's a dickhead move, so I'm giving him that one, I may just give that one away to someone, I don't know, maybe I'll send it to Techie Jess, um, <clears throat> but, uh, hell we got, uh, I'm not going to give it away just to anybody random, so don't ask, please. Um, this one, uh, I'm keeping for myself. I really like it, and is if you see right here, I actually had to change, uh, change it up, because I actually started out with this orange line going around it, uh, followed by the black line, followed by that gray line, and then white over top of that one. So it's actually five coats, plus the top letters and stuff, which is six layers on top of that, just that one canvas. Um, so it's a lot of paint. <laughs> it's pretty heavy just from that. Um, so... I don't know, I really like this one. It looks pretty sweet. Uh, it was different than the original Curd Road, or, uh, Curd Road. Yeah, the original Mountain Dirt. Um, so I really liked how I did it. I actually freehanded all that out with, on top of the tape and then cut it out with the X-Acto and painted over it. So, yep. If you're a painter in high school and you've never used tape or anything, experiment with it. It's really fun. So, you'll like it. Alright, yeah. I don't really know what to talk about. I'm chilling at my mom's crib. About to hook up the Xbox, do, And the TV, do. Can hop on that Trials Evolution if you haven't got it already. You need to get it. And if you want to add me on Xbox and you have the game, please go buy Trials Evolution. It's the best game. It's better than Call of Duty. By far. Um, as of right now. Add me on Xbox at NSL Space HD. Um, and we can play some Trails of Evolution or something. Compete on the leaderboards and stuff. I know for you girls out there, you're probably like, I don't care about this. I don't care about what he's saying right now. Um, I'm sorry. I'm a huge nerd when it comes to video games and shit. Um, I'm like a nerd to video games. Like, Ty's a nerd to technology and stuff. Um, like, tech things. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm actually a nerd with art and shit. I really like it. Um, but yeah. Alright, um... Yeah, there's my bike that I don't know what I'm going to do with. It's been up there for like six months now. I think I rode it like three times, but I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Bad choices in life when you spend money. All right, um, I'll see you guys later. Right, I'll make sure you follow me on Twitter and all the doobly doop down below. Um, hopefully for you gamers out there, I will be posting on my gaming channel this weekend. Not saying I will 100%, um, but I'm gonna try. Um, also, I do have a second gaming channel. I haven't posted on it in a long time, but I'll actually still be posting on it. I'm actually going to post other people's commentaries and stuff, help them get noticed. So if you want to head over and check that channel out, it's Projection Cinema. So yeah, I'll put it in the link down below, um, or the description down below. The Doobly Doop. And Doobly Doop is not a network for you people who are like, is Doobly Doop like a new network or something? No, it's not. It's just something I say. That's pretty good. I'm going to start doing that every time. Alright. See you guys later, right? Peace.